In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build this fun guinea pig Heidi. This Heidi comes with two entrances and a rooftop and two ramps. So if your guinea pigs like to see things from above, this might be the Heidi for you. This Heidi was super easy to build and we didn't need a lot of stuff for it. So I think this is very beginner friendly and also a great pigmas gift for your guinea pigs. So let's get building. You're going to need a, let's call it a lumber stick, a really tiny thin piece of wood, a little bit more than a meter of it in total. The thickness of this particular piece that I use was four millimeters times eight millimeters. Two wood boards with the size of 640 millimeters times 70 millimeters with a thickness of 18 millimeters six wood boards with the dimensions of 150 millimeters times 300 millimeters, also with a thickness of 18 millimeters, two wood boards with the size of 310 millimeters and 17 millimeters, and one wood board with the dimensions of 350 millimeters times 300 millimeters, some hooks and corresponding eyes. Our ramps had the same size as our Heidi, but I later thought the ramps would also look really nice if they were a little bit longer. So if you'd like to try out a different look, instead of six boards of the same size, you'll need four of the same size and then two that are slightly longer. First of all, we picked one of the boards of which we had four or six boards of the same size and drew our two entrances on it. Then we used a saw to cut these two pieces out. This is the front piece of the Heidi. We then took our two boards of the same size and marked where we needed to put in holes, which was on two of the boards with two marks on either side. We then drilled a hole through these spots. Then we needed to sand down everything because you don't want any splinters close to your guinea pigs. I'm not going to mention every single time we had to do this, just know as soon as you see any pieces sticking out or any sharp edges, you need to polish the wood with sandpaper to smooth everything. Then we put our screws in. Now, this is easier on the wood if you drill kind of a supporting hole on the side of where the screw is supposed to go, but we didn't have a small enough drill for this, so it still worked out, but if you want a cleaner look, a tiny hole on the wood boards that you didn't mark where the screw goes in is easier on the wood and makes it less likely to break. Next we took the biggest wood board of which we only have one. This is our roof and we again marked where we needed to drill. Since the big frame goes on top of the roof of the Heidi we drilled three holes on either of the four sides so 12 in total. Then we again marked our spots on the two longer wood boards or beams, two on each end. And we drilled through these spots. We then attached the roof to the frame using screws. So the big piece goes on, to the, on the two beams and for this we used six screws in total. To complete the frame we added the two smaller beams to the two larger beams. Then it's time to attach the roof to the four walls of the Heidi. We use the remaining six screws for this. Then it's time for adding the ramps. We attached two hooks to each ramp, which are the remaining two wooden boards that are either the same size of the walls or slightly longer, depending on what you choose. And then we marked on the frame of the house where we wanted the ramp to be and attached the eye. We then marked the lumber stick to create pieces of 12 centimeter length using a saw. For the little steps up the ramp, we used some wood glue. Alternatively, you can use a hammer and nails. However, you do have to be really careful that none of the nails stick out so that your guinea pigs can't hurt themselves. And we're done. Let's see what the guinea pigs think. Hey, Willoughby, you wanna come out and check your new Heidi out? Willoughby's outside, first time. And he's ready to explore.
Wilby keeps going back in and coming outside. I think he really likes this, Heidi. Also, he seems to really like marking this fleece liner. <laughs> Nugget just pushed the camera away. She dove under the camera, pushed it away with her nose. Little filmmaker nugget. Okay, I just placed a fleece liner on top of the Heidi and one that also goes on the rams so as to teach the guinea pigs how to use the rams because I know that my guinea pigs are not huge fans of wooden rams but they do like rams that have their familiar fleece liner on it so I just placed a big, fle bigger fleece liner on top of it. Um, advantage it protects this wood right here, but also can help your guinea pigs get familiar with these ramps. Hi, Nugget! <laughs> and Nugget sitting on top of the ramp, coming down. I placed a pea flake up there to teach Nugget that this is a ramp. Two guinea pigs fit easily into the sidey. As you can see, there's Fitz and Wilby in there. Oh, where's Wilby? <laughs> Fitz, you're guarding him. There he is! Look, Nugget! What's up here? Yes! You go, Nugget! Queen of them all! Nugget has no idea how she just got up there. And she got down. Well done, Nugget. Baby right now is extra confused where Nugget is. Wilby's doing it on his own. Good job, Wilby. 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 I wanted to give you a pee flick. There you go. Good job. That's where the fun is. This is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And see you guys next time. Bye.